So this is a video for the guys that wanted to know something about how the system works. So one thing that you can see is the bottle is sitting in the back here. The bottle has an angle fitting on it, which is 3AN to 3AN90. This one has a 16 inch length of three dash hose that runs to a 3AN to a 4AN aluminum fitting. And this fitting uh, is a swivel fitting, 4AN swivel, comes with the kit. Solenoid comes with the kit. The hose and the lines out come with the kit. So then the hose runs out around. You can see it comes back and it feeds into the front of the carb. You can see the hose is cut on an angle so that when it pressurizes the hose wants to bend back a little bit but it also tends to direct the flow better into the carb if you cut the hose on an angle. You can adjust the system by starting with the hose out and moving the hose in closer until it bogs. Once it bogs I bring the hose back just a little bit and I crank up the high uh, about an eighth of a turn and then I try it and if I can still run it then I move the hose in a little bit more to it bogs. As soon as it starts to bog any at the high R as, as you activate it at the higher RPMs then I back the hose out just a little bit and that's what seems to work for me and from there it's the same as tuning in the other boat. When I tried feeding it into the isolator um, it didn't compensate for it, it cost me a motor. So the way the system works is there's the solenoid of course you have to power up the solenoid. So the way I power, power up the solenoid is back in behind here is a little brain box. So if you remove the one bolt on this boat you can pull the tack out you set it off to the side and back in behind it is this little box. This little Tupperware box, if you open up this box, you have to excuse me for a sec, I'll set this down. So inside this little box, is a third channel switch and two 9 volt batteries that are hooked in series. So you can see there's a third channel switch and the third channel switch is activated off the third channel in the Futaba controller. There's a wire that runs out along the front all the way up and comes in and they all the wires feed into the box. There's actually four different plug-ins into the box. So this is the little brain box power that sits up in the front. And from there, there's a wire out that feeds the light on the side. And the other one goes back. The negative goes back along here again. It feeds into, the, there's a little micro switch down there. You can see the micro switch, same as any other nitrous mi micro switch, is activated at full throttle. Right? So when you power up the system, just man, make sure it's on channel one or no, two is this boat. So until you activate the third channel on this one, the nitrous system doesn't do anything. Just runs normal, steering, everything else is normal. Battery's a little weak right now, is why you're seeing the red lights or whatever. But when you hit the third channel, you can see it activates, the blue light comes out on in the other side to let me know 
that, it, that it's activated. But now that solenoid is live, but it runs through the micro switch. So when you hit third or about three quarters of a throttle, you can hear the click. The click would activate the nitrous solenoid. Right? So if you shut the third channel off, nitrous is off. You still got to turn the bottle on um, and you'd still, um, for this system it's activated by the third channel, there's no other switch. So you turn the bottle on, activate it by the third channel and then the micro switch kicks it over, right? So some of the things, this boat doesn't have a lot of air movement around here so I'm okay running the hose like this. Um, but on boats that have a lot of air movement around here, like on a little cat for instance that's open in the air, uh, I've ran them before with a velocity stack like this. If you look at the velocity stack inside, there's actually three hoses so it can move it closer or not. You want to stick your hose in and cut it on an angle. So your hose is on an angle like this, cut on the inside. And then I've usually brought it around like, so the hose would come in, you could either, you can get closer, but you want to get a swirl effect in here. So you want, you don't want a direct shot if you're going to use the velocity stack, you want to shoot it and let it swirl around. So you can see on this velocity stack, there's three different holes, so I can move it closer. This one happened to like the middle hole on the little cap. Some of the things I do on the carbs is the carbs are cleaned, uh, open up a little bit, they're well polished. Um, and if you do do use a velocity stack, you look at this one has actually been opened up on the back so that it matches this, but this is what a carb would look like. Uh, this is a 257 that, that I've done. Usually I'll use the stainless steel bat wing shaft. Um, and that's pretty much I fatten them up a little bit, make sure they're good and clean, um, polish them up good and open them up, up a little bit. I do the same mods that Scott recommends on MGB. This is the wiring. Nine volt, nine volt, you can see negative with positive is joined, so you actually end up about 16 or 17 volts. I don't like to see it go below 14. So the positive from this system is running to the solenoid, the negative is running out on my boats, boats it runs through the third channel. You could also run it through a normal switch through the bottom here. From there the negative is going to a micro switch. The micro switch then triggers the solenoid. The bottle is coming off. I change it from a, to a 3AN to 3AN90. This boat's using a 16 inch length of 3AN hose running to a 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. adapter before the solenoid to the factory solenoid stuff from the factory hose out coming out this boat because there's not a lot of air movement around here I can feed it direct in but I still cut the hose on an angle like this helps direct the, the flow in better but like I said on a little cat or something you probably want to go this seems to work way better if you have a lot of air movement around your car I'm um, going to try Daniel's coil system now with this and if you have any other questions about it, it's fairly simple. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed a lot is I run chainsaw, um, chainsaw bar oil on these boats and I picked up a couple miles an hour just from the chainsaw bar oil and for the lubricant for my shafts. But uh, nitrous boats are real fun. I'm going to try the new coil from uh, Daniel. And hopefully, uh, lakes are all frozen, but here's how to run the nitrous system.